Welcome to this episode of Crystal's Bites. I am at Jakana Heights up on Conge Hill, Buziga. It is so peaceful here, so beautiful. I could take a nap. But as you can see, uh, the nap will have to start later. I am ready to share a recipe with you. So how about you come in? One bedroom apartment at Jakana Heights. I'm sure you want to take a tour first, right? Mm, so let's head into the bedroom. Huge open space, which I love. Big windows. Oh, don't you just love big windows? And a nice big bathroom too, which you can check out. Okay, so out of my bedroom. Come on, come on. So this is the rest of the one bedroom apartment. There are two bedroom, three bedroom apartments at Jakana Heights and the penthouses are four bedrooms. But what I love so much is the space. Look at this balcony, seriously. Yeah, wind down in the evening, have a glass of wine. There's a breeze, it's just beautiful. But let's get back in. And uh, my favorite space, in the apartment is the kitchen. And I have a recipe to share with you. So how about we get started? So today I am making a Chinese beef stir fry. One of the worst things that can happen is to have tough beef stir fry. So it's important that you do two things. Number one, you get a nice cut of meat. And some people use sirloin steak or rump steak. Today I'm using fillet steak. And then you make a marinade that will actually tenderize the beef as well. So as explained, I think I'll use about half a kilo. And importantly, I will cut against the grain of the beef. It's important that you cut against the grain and I'm going to make very thin slices. As you can see, my beef is thinly sliced and now I'm just gonna make a simple marinade that's going to help tenderize it. So there are two things that I'm going to add here, a little bit of cornstarch. I'd say that's about a tablespoonful of cornstarch and then some bicarbonate of soda that is baking soda which is actually going to help tenderize the meat so I'll use maybe about half a teaspoon of that and then of course some soy sauce soy sauce as you know is salty quite salty so I am not going to add any salt. I'm simply going to make a sauce. I think you can see that. And it's a thick marinade that is going to go on our beef. Pour that on. And mix it all over our beef because you want to make sure it goes everywhere. I can't understand people who don't like the feel of raw meat. Wait, does that make me sound strange? So now I'm going to set that aside and I'll get started on our vegetables. Imagine coming home to a vacation each day, to a place of pure serenity, a place of pure luxury for you to entertain and unwind.
at Jakana Heights, dreams come true. Take your pick from spacious one, two, or three-bedroom apartments and luxurious four-bedroom penthouses built to international standards with fine, exceptional finishing. Located on Conge Hill, Buziga, with incredible views and a fresh breeze from the nearby Lake Victoria. It's a place for your body, soul, and mind with a wide array of amenities. Contact us for more information. Jakana Heights, luxury hilltop living. So I have about four cloves of garlic here, which I am going to chop up nicely. Then I am going to use half of this onion. And then I will go with a good amount of peppers. So I'm cutting around my peppers. That way I can avoid the seeds on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to cut this all up and then we'll make the sauce for the stir fry that will thicken it up nicely. So for this, we start by using some Worcestershire sauce, right? Then I add some soy sauce. A dash of vinegar. Mm -hmm. And then we of course need black pepper because this is going to be a nice peppery sauce. And finally, just to cut through all the salt in the soy sauce, I am going to add some sugar. So about a teaspoon of sugar. Hmm. All right, so now we are going to start our stir fry. I'm going to use some olive oil. Keep it healthy like that. First in is our onions. And I've cut the onions into nice big chunky pieces. Now you could use a wok, but not many people have a wok. So I'm just using a wide pan. Now I'm going to add the garlic. And I'm going to let it cook for just literally like two minutes because I don't want the garlic to burn. So I'm going to push the onions and the garlic all the way to the sides and put the meat in now. I don't want the meat to start to kind of like steam and cook so I'm going to spread it all around which is why I needed a really flat pan. Nice and browned the other side. I love the look of that. And because it is nicely browned, I'm going to mix it all together with our onions and garlic. And now we can add our peppers. As you can see, I decided to add a bit more color with some green pepper. That goes in now. I'll let that cook for a few minutes as well. And now, I am going to add the sauce. Because 
so I have to have a little taste. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Check on the beef. Mm. Yes. It's peppery. It's slightly sweet. And just the right amount of salt. And it's ready. All right, so as you can tell, I did a simple steamed rice as promised. And yeah, I have an interesting little tower there. And I'm just going to serve up this beautiful stir fried beef with loads of veggies, because I love the veggies. And as you can see, I'm all set. <laughs> so it's really tender. It's slightly sweet. It's very peppery, so if you're not a fan of spicy food, you can cut down the pepper to about half a teaspoon, because I used a heap teaspoon of pepper. Mm. So there you have it, a simple stir-fried beef, a Chinese stir-fried beef with uh, steamed rice. Mm. 